We've got Lad Egan, I believe, who can tell us about a house fire. Yeah, how that house went up in flames. And Lad, you're there live now. What can you tell us? Yeah, you can see the home behind me badly damaged by the fire. The fire chief saying it actually started in these bushes out front and then it may be a total loss. It started when someone was playing with fireworks out here in the street. One of them tipped over shooting the fireworks at the house. And we thought it was just fireworks, but it was the windows blowing out. Just after 11 last night. Denise Hooper went outside to find her neighbor's house on fire. It was the bush that was in front that we first noticed. That's what was throwing the most flames. But within minutes, the window had blown out. The flames traveled inside and up into the attic. Firefighters quickly arrived and got the fire out in about 20 minutes. Fortunately, the man inside escaped without injury. I think he was still kind of in shock. He is okay. They didn't have to take him to the hospital. Unfortunately, some of the neighbors were lighting fireworks out in the road, and after some of the uh, fireworks discharged, the tubes tipped over and shot fireworks directly into those shrubs. Payson's fire chief says those lighting the fireworks stayed on scene, trying to put the fire out themselves and making sure the man inside the home got out. He had just gone to bed and did notice the glow um, in the front of his house and was getting up to see what it was while they were knocking on the door. So it worked out that he got out and everybody was okay. The chief says those lighting the fireworks were not issued a citation. These were legal fireworks bought in the state of Utah. They, they were not illegal. And it could have been so bad, so much worse. Hooper is grateful for the quick work by firefighters, but dismayed that it was started by fireworks. It's so unfortunate, somebody's carelessness. We've always thought it would be the dry fields that are across and behind us, but to have it be a home is devastating. Payson's fire chief reminding that the time frame to light off fireworks has passed and that you can't light them off anymore, but he wants to remind for the next holiday that you need to make sure that you're using bricks or cinder blocks to surround the fireworks so that they won't tip over and start a fire like what happened here. Reporting in Payson, Lad Egan, KSL 5 News.